I grew up in the Midwest, in Indiana, as one of 10 kids. Uh, poverty seemed to be the order of the day. My parents did the best they could with what they had, but I understood that we had less than other people. I understood that my parents were struggling. I understood what it meant to not have health care. I understood all that growing up, and so I vowed to God that if I ever got a chance to get out and make something of myself, I would spend the rest of my life trying to talk about what it means to love and serve everyday people. Uh, whether it's radio, whether it's television, whether it's uh, books or internet, my philanthropy uh, through my foundation, all the work that I do is really about every day trying to find a way to love people more deeply, to serve them more richly. And this accountable book, the third in this final covenant series, is just another way for me uh, to try to put something out there that can hold people accountable, that can hold people responsible um, to what I think makes America a great nation, and that is this notion of loving our neighbors as ourselves and serving people. And that's where the idea to do this book came from. It was really about um, sensing this hunger and this thirst inside of my own community for wanting to do better, uh, wanting to, to live in a nation um, where the opportunities would not just be taught, but could in fact be realized. This book is called Accountable, Making the Covenant Real. It is the third and final book in a, a trilogy of books about what we call the covenant with black America. This third book is uniquely different because it's not just about black America, it's about how we in the most multicultural, multiracial, multi-ethnic America ever hold ourselves as American citizens first responsible and then hold our elected officials uh, in this uh, new America accountable. So the book is really about accountability around the issues that matter to everyday people. So this book really is about, again, not just black folk, but all Americans who are serious about what they heard during the campaign, serious about hope, serious about change, and how we in fact enact that. And I hope that this book, uh, the third and final one in this trilogy, uh, speaks to what it means to really, really advance the cause of what America is or certainly should be all about.